phenol black folks, and basically we have terahydrons, tetrahydrons, light black space, dark, and also triangulation like that. Now, what I'm going to do is pop you to uh, a slide across here. We'll see the terahydron, tetrahydron there that we have in the sky that we've also been seeing from, and then we have there and there. Okay. And we'll slide along these USG shots today from Hawaii. And we can see that it's it, even from this, what I showed you earlier today. Is, uh, I'm not sure if that's the same shot or a fresher one. So 13 today is about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Probably a fresher shot. So you can see it's active. To me, that's a little bit even more activity than what I showed in the last shot. Okay. Like I say, raindrops, yes. Terahydrons, tetrahydrons, yes. There, all over the place, okay? Just like throwing sulfur into a fire, okay? And light energy, folks, right there. You see that light energy, okay? And yes, raindrops, moisture ends up collecting on the on webcam, but terahydrons, tetrahydrons, terahydrons, tetrahydrons, and also up over here, terahydrons, tetrahydrons, okay? Triangulation from light and space. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show you that uh, basically what is called a basically before we leave here, Kilauea is warming up, which is very unusual, folks. You see that? That steam coming off Kilauea right there? Hang on. Yes, folks. And very weird and very unusual. Kilauea has been very quiet. Okay. They put pressure under there that probably USGS knows about, but check it out. It's starting to seep out. See that? Yep, there is steam in Kilauea, folks. Okay, and also some steam here at Kilauea, another spot. Okay, so very freaky action, folks. Okay, now this is actually night sky, and I'm not going to give anybody the connection for this one. If you search real good, you can find it. But for right now, I want to keep it a little bit private. Because I don't want it to get over swarm, they're not have the little scientists keep giving us the info. Now what we ended up with was M45, M42, and another one from our dark side of the gym. This is nighttime, 2:20 a.m. in the morning. And what I'm going to prove to you the idea that this is a supergiant sun, and the ones I showed you, more than likely Proxima Centauri. Uh, the names that I basically, I know I go to Tari, it's B, A, but this is going to show you real fast here that the idea that I'll be able to pause it through the, this is the plane going on, watch your clock, okay, that's 1 a.m. in the morning, okay, now, really quick, if we come through this, the blue baby Kachina is in here, and also the red or star, okay? This is nighttime, or a.m., 4.16 a.m., okay? That goes away, okay? Now, we are getting the red, blue, and green stars, okay, in the sky, which are normally at the North Pole, folks. Yes, in Hawaii, ladies and gentlemen, axis tilt, okay? And I have another video that I can go to that's even more dramatic. Now, here comes the sun at 5, 13, or whatever in the morning, okay? And I'm not going to argue with anybody. Basically, I should be able to, by the end of this video, go ahead and pull in. Now, that baby blue Kachina and the uh, red dwarf are in that sky area between M45, M42, and whatever other large mass that we have out there. And, this, and I could be wrong that this could be you know, uh, I can't remember the data, but M42 or M45, which whatever one is bigger, and then the other one would be the outside largest object that's ever been found in space, okay? We're getting it from the supergiant's light. Now, I'll hit play, and we're going to go back to nighttime in a second, because the sun's going to come across. Now, when you're watching this, you'll end up being able to find and distinguish out, and in a second, I'll be able to hopefully have enough time on this video to distinguish out the baby blue kachina, and that's what I'm calling it, and the red dwarf, okay? Because there is the red dwarf, ladies and gentlemen, okay? 
Now it's reflected in its bigger. Yes, that is the reflection of the red dwarf star. Now where it's at right now in front of the sun, I'm not sure. Now a little bit ago, it was in front of whatever we've got coming out of the supergiants. And I'll be able to show you the supergiants light on this video also. Now I'm be believing that pretty doggone sure that more than likely this is either the red dwarf right there the blue dwarf below and IZ you get an actual imprintation over here which is lighter and lighter darker more solid reflected here reflected here 3d okay reflected here reflected here 3d and either 4d if you want to boom and boom okay <clears throat> but I would pretty make make a ten dollar bet like the congressmen okay senators that that's the baby blue there and that's the red kachina there and here is a gigantic reflection from the sun okay now so watch your clock it's 11:26 in the morning okay so we'll hit play this is sort of the telescope folks okay and then you'll still be able to pick it out when you come around and we'll also be able to pick it out when we come around on now, I'm going to lose track here, but I'm pretty darn sure that that's the baby blue kachina right there. And that's the reflection of it right there, okay, in front of the sun. But it'll also end up in front, since the super giants are in alignment, so I'm going to hit play again. Okay, and then we have the red dwarf, okay. But more than likely, it's right here. Now, it's 040 minutes after the hour a.m. Hawaii time, okay? It's actually dark out, ladies and gentlemen, okay? This is the sun from the super giants. Now, what I'm going to go to is another video. Now, I have to jockey between these videos. Now, your, your clock is down here, and it's regular a.m. p.m. clock, okay, on this one. This is the suns and the super giants, and like I showed you before, there's way more than one. And we actually have like three or four that's here because this is one here or the light of all of them illuminating, but not really all of them because you can see that sun there. There's a sun. I'm not even going to point at the dome. And that's not the window on the dome, ladies and gentlemen. You can see it. To the left is a sun. The middle is a smaller one. To the right is another one. And more than likely, maybe Bategulus is showing since it's so huge way out far. Now, up over here, this little window that's coming up, and yes, this is the building, folks, okay? But it's illuminating onto the, the building and onto the dome, okay? And you can tell that the dome is not open and it's not the lights on in the dome. Now, you also even see almost like the star cluster wrap that we've seen at Nehemiah Station when we went over top of the, even here, okay? That's the super giant suns, folks. There's a hundred of them and there's all kinds of other smaller ones that are dead almost that aren't even really considered stars and dead planets that reflect, okay? This is the sun coming up in the east, okay, in Hawaii. Not that right there. This could actually be another supergiant sun or planet. And, yes, could possibly be the telescope. A little bit of light coming off the other telescope over there to the right. But now, watch as I hit play. The sun's going to come up over here to the right, and it's 4.45.01 a.m. This is all the sun from the west, from the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen, okay? This more than likely is the sun from the east, but not this, not that there. That's probably another one of these suns out of the supergiants reflecting off that dome of that telescope over there from the west, okay? That's how huge the supergiants main sequence is. And here we play, folks, and this is this action. Okay, now the dome will, the dome is on this telescope is turning. And there comes the window, see? So you know it's not the window. Okay, now I'll hit pause because what we're going to do is we're going to back it up. And I'll hit play there, and we're going to have the asteroid belt come in that has, more than likely, not the baby blue kachina or the red dwarf in it, other stuff. And you're going to see this Oort cloud, okay, that I call it, and a lot of people do. This is an Oort cloud, okay? And it's coming closer to Earth all the time. And as you see, the sun is coming up in the east, and it's going through and reflecting out our red dwarf, in our baby blue kachina all again. Okay, then we play. And when I take you to pictures on this, you'll be able to see, or you have seen in the past. Now there is the Oort cloud, folks, and you're going to see it get bigger. Hit play again, 
and you'll see it and you see how it's resonating onto the and you see that more light come in and you see how that star cluster is hitting the dome right there okay now and you can still see the star cluster right there okay that's in that Oort cloud but it's up behind you now to the west okay because it shoots to the east and those are still star clusters that are resonating off that dome and then they disappear and then you still see that Oort cloud okay and there you go and that was not a vehicle showing up folks we've seen a vehicle show up before on these videos okay so basically I'll take it back that far and I'll hit play and you're gonna see that come into effect again and watch the clock it's in the evening folks okay now I'm not gonna argue with anybody I would think that maybe that could end up being one of the vehicles but I really don't think so okay because I know that this is super giant stuff and I really think that those are the three suns and the super giants coming up again one two three and more there back there and everything like that super giants lights folks okay and we're gonna hit play now we know that the moon comes up but I'm gonna give you the time for the moon showing up now that possibly should be the moon okay 8.50 p.m. we'll find out on the moon rise on the moon but we also know it would be light from these super giants here in that ask that whatever you want to call what I just called a little few minutes ago okay an Oort cloud okay which is basically sunlight and a suns from outer space okay and they glow down over now here was an AM again it's just the tape playing again <clears throat> and then the Sun comes up in the east okay so now I go back to telescope and yep folks this is 39 minutes after the hour on the 10th okay 39 minutes and seven seconds it's dark out ladies and gentlemen okay so we pay attention to this clock and it'll match up to the, to the webcam okay and then we're gonna go to the what was it three or four o'clock in the in the a.m. hour okay Okay, and there's your three or four in the a.m. hour, folks. A.m. The sun's not up. Okay, that wasn't the flipping moon, or was it? Okay, don't care. Take that out of your mind. Don't care if that's the moon or not. Probably may be the moon, ladies and gentlemen, but it still gave us our reflection of our baby Lucachina and the red dwarf star so no matter what it's the moon fine it's the moon but in front of all those dark masses up by neptune in our back door in the dark the moonlight and all the sunlight from what i just showed you the super giants and also you see this interesting over here this probably should be the moon or a reflection of the moon right there okay to the right so that's either the moon or a reflection of the moon this possibly still could be our super giant sunlight that we've seen down in Antarctica and showing up in Hawaii. Okay, so no matter whether this is the moon or this is the moon right here, which I don't think it puts off that goddamn much light into a telescope. Okay, even if it is, it shows you the red dwarf, and it shows you, and then that's a reflection. Those are all 3D reflections there. More than likely, the red dwarf is there or there, somewhere in there. Okay, also you get this triangulation of that over there which is possibly the baby blue somewhere in this but it also shows up with the moon reflection okay and we get the big of m45 m42 and then whatever the hell else back there in the deep darkness of space ladies and gentlemen our back door by jupiter okay yes jupiter could be there so jupiter the smaller one m42 and m45 the bigger ones quite possibly jupiter 42 or 45 and 42 or 45 and that's exactly what's up there because that's why the telescope is looking okay and also to watch more than likely correct could be the moon but also could be light from a supergiant hitting the moon also because we've already showed you the supergiant light coming up in the a.m. hour on the ground okay so the baby blue casino and the red dwarf rotate around each other as you'll see right there if you missed, I'll play it again. It's that right there. Watch. Yeah, it's radioactive. That's when it's red.
and here's blue to red. Right to Spanish Jupiter, 